Hello you guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is wherever you are. Thank you for coming back. It is another Sunday video for you guys. And I know I say this quite often, but it feels like I just did my last video and here I am again. The time is just flying by. There are only five Sundays left until Christmas. Nice. I know Kevin, I know. And here we are again with another Sunday video for you guys. And today, it's really cold outside. We had a lot of snow. It's melted quite a bit now. Gizmo is gonna run out here and test it out for us. How is it, Gizmo? Are you cold? thinks he owns the place. So with it being so cold out, I thought now would be a perfect time. Gizmo, you keep letting them know that I need to clip your nails. Stop selling me out. You're due for a nail trimming and it sounds awful. Stop it. Hey, give me that bone. Give me that bone. Hey, I want it. <laughs> Not a chance. What goes better with a cold day than some delicious tomato soup. And even better, grilled cheese. And even better, tomato soup with grilled cheese in a bread bowl. Oh yeah, guys, it is going to smell lit up in here today. So, in order to make this recipe, the ingredients you will need are bread. Now, I got the round depain one. This one is big. You don't have to use such a big one, but this is the one I am using today. We will be needing some butter. I have a block of sharp cheddar cheese. I am using grated Parmesan, a cup of it. For my tomato soup, I am using two 28 ounce cans of peeled whole plum tomatoes. Minced garlic salt and pepper, chicken broth, and heavy cream. Make sure it's heavy. I will also be using my deep pot, my cookie sheet that, yes, I should get a new one by now, but this just adds flavor. Back off. Don't tell me my business, devil woman. And my blender so we can puree the tomatoes. This is really all we need to make this delicious meal today. So I'm hungry. My kids are already asking for grilled cheese. So let's get to it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is puree them tomatoes. Take your can of peeled whole plum potatoes. Pour them into your blender. And now your second can. Be careful so you don't splash yourself. Look at that. We're going to put the lid on, making sure that the openings are not there. I'm gonna take my spatula, just to give it a swirl around, make sure. Oh yeah, it's nice pureed. Look at that, tomato milkshake. <laughs> You nasty. I'm going to take my puree and pour it into my pot. All right, we have our puree is in the pot ready to go. To this, we are going to add two big old teaspoons of minced garlic, two, and your 32 ounces, one quart of chicken broth. Alrighty, I'm gonna give that a really good mix. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the stove on medium to medium, so about there, and we are gonna let that boil. So once that comes to a boil, then we're going to reduce it and start adding the rest of the ingredients for this. And our tomato soup, guys, is almost done. I know, hard to believe so easy and it's going to be so delicious 
the tomato soup is getting ready so while that is starting to boil we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the bread part so the first thing you want to do is you want to take it and you just want to cut off the top portion you're going to take your knife Cut along in the center. And just reach in there. And cut it out. Now I am making sure I'm leaving enough so it has the bottom. And now your bread bowl is ready. <laughs> so this we are actually going to put in the oven. While we're still waiting for the soup, we're going to preheat the oven to 375. We're just going to take this and set it right on the cookie sheet. Your bread bowl is almost ready to go in the oven. Just needs a few more finishing touches. Yes, I am using my ghost spatula. Deal with it. <laughs> so it's starting to come to a boil. So we are going to add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. Stir that in and finish letting that come to a boil. Alrighty, our soup has come to a boil. We're gonna give it a good stir. And we are going to now reduce the heat and simmer. We are going to let this simmer for three minutes. In a separate container, you will add one cup of heavy cream, which is equivalent to half a pint. It is now time to temper this heavy cream. Now basically what this means is we are going to take some of the hot liquid. We need one fourth of a cup and you are going to add it to the heavy cream. So one fourth. What this is going to do is it's going to mix in the soup with the cream so the cream is not so cold because we're about to add it to our soup. So now we're going to take our tempered cream. We are going to add that to our soup along with one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. All right, you're gonna give that a really good stir. All right, we are gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes. Soup's almost done. Here we are now back to our bread bowl. I'm gonna take some butter and spread it around on the inside. Now we're gonna take our slices of cheese. Just gonna put your cheese around in there. And then if you want, choice is yours. You can go around the top if you want cheese overlaying it. You can even shred this finer around it. So this part is ready. We are going to go ahead and bake this in our preheated oven for about 10 minutes. All right, so I totally thought I was recording, but I was not. I have cut the center. See, I, remember I cut the top off the bread and then ripped out the center? And just reach in there. Here's the center. I cut it in half, slap some cheese down on it, Put the top on and I've spread some butter and once I get it in my heated pan I'll put some butter on the other side but this is ready we just need to get it in the pan sorry about that so I've got my pan ready we are gonna go ahead and put the heat I like to do about medium to medium low that seems to work best for grilled cheese for me again 
I think it's dying. All right, I've sat it in. I'm gonna take my butter and spread it around the top. Take my spatula, get under there, and give it a flip. Gonna give that a flip. Look at that. Ooh, that's looking good. Now, it is time to pull out our bread bowl. Oh my gosh. And here is our grilled cheese. 15 minutes is up. Take your whisk and give it a nice smooth whisk. Making sure it's creamy and smooth. Now I'm just going to take <laughs> this because I don't want to burn myself. We're just going to pour into the bread bowl. And there we have it. A tomato soup bread bowl with grilled cheese. All right, this is it. Grand finale. Give it a try. <laughs> Blow on the soup. Okay. It's going to be hot. I'm scared. Blow on it. Blow on that, Eliza. That's going to be really hot. That's too much. Good? Try your grilled cheese. It's good. All right. Not bad. Just a little good stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cam Brown and I asked, can we have grilled cheese for lunch? And I didn't even Little know. did she know I was actually yeah. making this. Mmm, that's good. I love tomato soup. Me too. Do you want mine? No, I'm eating my piece of bread. So that's going to about do it for this video, guys. As you see, it is also kid tested and kid approved. I think they're both happy. Hey, I, I knew I was going to like it. But I'm letting them know it's kid tested and kid approved. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, that's going to about do it for this video. This is the grilled cheese with tomato soup in a bread bowl. Thank you guys for watching as always. We truly appreciate it and we hope you have a fantastic week. As always, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe. If you didn't, like, subscribe. Have a great week guys.